Hello, it's Coach London with the scouting report for the Maryland Terrapins, the next opponent for Virginia Cavaliers. Maryland is uh, guided by their second year head coach, Randy Edsel. Today, we're going to look at the defensive side of the ball for them. The defensive coordinator, Brian Stewart, was a defensive coordinator for the, the Dallas Cowboys. They're 3 4 defense, multiple looks. They give you blitzes up the middle, they play zone coverages, very fast, very athletic. Number 72, Joe Volano is their all, two-time All-ACC defensive tackle. Kenny Tate, uh, one of their linebackers, is another outstanding player preseason, a lot of award recognition. So we'll take a look at a couple plays here, some of the things that they do uh, as far as uh, what, what we need to, to look out for offensively as we prepare for them. This first play here, they're playing against West Virginia. Pressure coming from the right side here. One of their, their outstanding linebackers, number nine, Hartsfield, coming from the inside position, so they're just basically pressing, call like a, a overload, overload the side of the protection. He comes off and uh, makes a tackle there. Here's another shot here, one of, the, you know, one of their butchers, one of their pressures that they like to run. So what you'll see here basically is uh, pressure, good and good push up front, causing the quarterback to, uh, to scramble. There's a holding call by the offensive lineman there, trying to hang on to Volano. Another play here is you'll see a screen. You'll see the athleticism of Volano as he sniffs the screen out here. You'll see right there how he does a good job of reacting to it. And the ball's up and in the air and just playing on the fortunes and opportunity. The ball is tipped and Volano makes the interception on it. So again, you see him here lined up right here at athletically three technique. Sees the screen developing, breaks towards the ball, balls up in the air, and he comes down with the interception. A big play for them. Another play here defensively, kind of the game's on the line here. One of the rushes that kind of sealed the deal here for, for Maryland. That's Kenny Tate, who was one of their outstanding players a year ago and had a knee surgery, knee injury. You just kind of see the athleticism there at the very end here, side swiping the, uh, the running back. So he'll come in on several situations where they blitz, and he's, he's one of the guys they count on to make plays for him. All right, what you see here is a fourth down play, and another, another big uh, play in the, in the game against Wake Forest. The secondary doing a good job of clamping down on the receivers, which lead to, again, uh, a sack by, by Hartsville, their linebacker. So you notice that uh, fourth down, they're kind of in a fourth down look, look with guys rushing off the edge. Traditionally, they'll be at first, second down, and three, four defense. But um, you see a lot of movement up front, a lot of twists. Our offensive line is going to have to be ready to be able to pass off the twist and the, and, the, and the linebackers that are coming. They apply pressure on the quarterback there and they make the play. And then the last one here, again, in their game against West Virginia, You'll see uh, another pressure, another blitz. Again, talk about overloading one particular side, applying pressure. But you also see a big play you know, by, uh, by West Virginia. So it's going to be important when they show the looks or they bring their pressure that we do a good job picking up the pressure, picking up the guys that are blitzing. And when you have that opportunity there, our receivers are going to have to get open and make it happen for us. So in this particular case, Hartsfield, who's normally been a rusher, now is in coverage. And whether that's a running back or a wide receiver, good protection can lead to a throw that, uh, that's on the money. So it's a very good team. They're in the top 20 nationally defensively for total defense. I believe they're second in the ACC right now. Our challenge is going to be providing matchups to, to get uh, players open. The running game is going to be very important for us again. So that's a look at the Maryland Terrapins. Hope to see you on, on Saturday at Scott Stadium.